Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Maker's World. So recently I've been watching my auntie make a whirly gig. This is uh, like a garden piece that you would put out. It'd have a propeller that spins. As that spins it moves some cogs or some sort of mechanical piece inside. And then that would then create movement of some sort. This is because I'm picturing two people sawing. <laughs> so then big old saws and you'd have a person on each side be something like that so as it as the propeller spins it would cause these people to move so from that I've then just been searching YouTube and everywhere else and I've come up with an idea to make a marble or something I don't know what it's called <laughs> it's a marble or, or I want to say an autonomous but I don't think it is that it's basically like an automatic marble machine I think is is what it's getting at so that's what we're going to be working on today. So if you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified for my future uploads. And if you have any feedback, good, bad, or otherwise, hit me up in the comment section. So let's get cracking with today's project. Right, so here we are. I have got all the pieces together. So I'm just going to go along and take the tabs off of each piece. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off with the tabs they go. We cut them off to build the machine. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. The CNC has left us tabs. We don't want them because they're a drab. Let's remove them and continue. Don't know what I'm sitting in. <laughs> right, so that's all the tabs removed. They are going to need a little bit of a sanding just to tidy them up. Right, so that is how they're all going to be. And just give them a bit of a tidy up. So obviously, this one's quite furry all the way around, and I'd rather it be nice and smooth. and. And we're sanded. So I could just mm, part of me wants to stick this together with some sticky back plastic. Sticky sticky back plastic? Sticky back tape. Double sided sticky tape. That's the one. Get there eventually. It's been a long day. Might just masking tape it. Double sided sticky tape can leave a bit of a residue. Obviously. We don't want that. Oh, ah made it, made it. Trap my finger. <laughs> Oh, let's. That's supposed to be up there. So, the aim of all this is to have this being obviously the lowest, raising up to here. This piece should be up more, but obviously, it's not stuck in yet. You then have this piece at the back, which will ramp down, and as this lowest piece drops to its lowest point, which is there. This piece at the back ramps down, which will obviously have a marble on it. The marble runs down, drops, lands onto this. Then with this one at its lowest, that one should be at its highest point. And then as obviously this turns, that little one goes up. But at the same time, this one should come down. So then as this one spins and comes down, the next one moves up and so on. And the way that that works is that when this is at its highest point, this one's at its lowest point, this small piece is now above this piece. You then ramp this down, 
so the marble will ramp down, land onto there, but now it can't move on. So as it continues turning, this piece goes up, and once obviously I've sorted it, that piece will come down, and same again. So as you can see, this piece is now higher than this piece, and it then repeats itself until the marble climbs up the stairs, lands onto this piece, which will be up more. That's then slanted down to the back, which then lands back on the ramp and back ground. I think I'm going to put in a few little marks just so I know for sure where everything can go. So I know where the piece on the back's going. Highest point of each of these, so this being the highest point of this and this being the lowest point, and then mark it in there because same again, I need to create like a little groove ramp thing for these so that then the marble stays in the middle and travels up. So I need to work that out as well. Right, so now this piece here, obviously, it needs to be lower, so this very last piece needs to be lower than this white piece, but it needs to be higher than the back piece because then I can ramp it down. Like I can ramp this down to this, but then I can then ramp that down backwards to the, to the, to the ramp piece. How many times can you say I ramp in one sentence? Right, so what I've done there is this was the original line that I've drawn and that was like the lowest point so that's like so I've drawn it sort of there and there and if I was to have obviously took the ramp down to there it would then struggle to obviously get onto this so obviously I only want to take it I want to take it so that then there's a bit of a lip for the ball to drop off of so it's just going to be a case of nice and slowly take my time and uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll manage just fine, just fine, just fine. Right, so it has done the job. It's got me a little ramp that runs down to the middle. This is what I wanted. Might try and tidy it up a bit with some sandpaper later. Got everything pretty much how I want it. I'm gonna now start working on putting it together. Just want to do one final check before I glue it all in. Because obviously once it's in, it's in. And we don't want to glue it in wrong. Here's the moment of truth.
so that turned out absolutely marvellous. I know, shoot me now. <sighs> I couldn't help it, I had to drop that one in there. So I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did. So playing with a little marble machine is quite mesmerising and for such a simple thing, it just keeps you winding. I, I, I was playing with it for such a long time last night, just sitting there <laughs> turning and turning and seeing how fast I could do it and, and, and learning as well. I was watching from it and seeing what went wrong and what I could improve in the future to make a better one. So I've got loads of ideas how to extend this or make bigger ones and different things and yeah so the brain's just going all the time so if you did enjoy this please hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell give it a little ding -a ding and uh, that will notify you for when I next upload some videos if you did like the video as well leave me some feedback good bad otherwise leave it in the comment section so thank you for coming along and I hope to see you all again next time